Uh, so, what happened was I was uh, I was previewing this show last year, and I and something happened, and it changed the show, uh, basically. Uh, here's what happened. I was on my way to a gig, work, if you want to make it relatable. <laughs> And I, like, running really, really late. Really fucking late. And I've adopted that sort of bombastic stride of somebody who needs to get somewhere quickly. Really, really not taking any shit from any passerby or pigeon or anything like that. Just fucking need to get... And also, walking quickly to a bus stop is very usually a completely pointless thing to do. Because <laughs> you are walking towards somewhere where you will most likely be stationary for a mystery amount of time. <laughs> And I get to the bus stop, bus stop H, St. Luke's Music Education Centre. It's my local bus stop, I'm there every single day, and I'm furious. I know the 55 to Oxford Circus, every two to eight minutes, that's when it comes. And I'm going, I look down at my bus stop app, which tells me when the bus stop is gonna, when the bus is gonna arrive. Also makes no difference to when the bus actually arrives. <laughs> but I think it's quite human to want the prognosis. And I look down at my bus stop, hoping that it's towards two minutes and further away from eight. And I look down and it says, the next 55 to Oxford Circus will be in 14 minutes. And there's a real, there's a real moment of calm there. Like, you know how when you bite into a chili and you think, I'm fine, but I will need an ambulance. <laughs> And then I start doing that kind of, you know the male thing where you start just touching your face the whole time? Like anxiety is anger, sort of, why do I have to be this? This is the human I've got to be now, is it? This fucking unlucky, why is such a bad thing happening to such a good man? I don't, why does the universe feel the need to keep its dick so persistently in my personal mouth? <laughs> and this, then I get a call from uh, Jessie, my ex-girlfriend, the mother of my children, and she goes, Hi! And I go, hi! <laughs> and she goes, what's wrong? And I go, well, I was wanting to go to my gig and I wanted to get there on time and I was running late and I wanted to get the bus and I said two to eight minutes, but now it's going to be 14 minutes and I just don't understand and I'm just sat here steeped in time, sort of swaying madly back and forth. <laughs> like, you know when you're in the bath and you try to create a current with your bum? <laughs> doing that, but with time going, come on time, you bastard. <laughs> And she goes, okay, well, remember that you're depressed. <laughs> remember that you're depressed and that you have depression, so it could be that. <laughs> As a footnote, I will say to anybody in the room, if you suffer with mental illness or health problems, depression, stuff like that, then I will be very sensitive to you about that. I will use the right language towards you about that. I will uh, adopt the right sensitivities to make sure that you feel like I'm being correct and sensitive to the issues that you have. However, when it comes to my mental illness, I have some very regressive right-wing views. <laughs> that mainly involve getting on with it, stop drinking, start exercising, stop being a divvy your whole life, and just do, do being happy. Just be it. Stop fucking about. And if you can't be happy, then just let sort of psychological natural selection take place and kill yourself. 